Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Frost, and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video. Today we're talking about um, the release of Operation uh, Neon Dawn, which comes out on the 18th of November, I believe, which is a Wednesday, and bless you, a different time zone, which maybe still be, I don't know, right? 18th of November, unless it's delayed as the current date is picked. So yeah, I'm here today to tell you things like the new operator, who unfortunately I do not have footage of, nor did I get to play because they don't have test servers on console, which, if you're new here, I am on PS4. So I do not have that for you, but I can tell you from, you know, watching other people's content, what it's going to be like. And the new operator is going to be called Arune. She, I don't know where she's from, but yeah, she has a cool passive ability where it's like her arm when she melees, she can create massive holes in the wall, like rotate, so you don't need impacts anymore. And yeah, her gadget is you need, basically blocks off walls or doorways or windows or whatever. You take 40 damage, I believe, going through it. It's like a castle barricade, but you need to throw a projectile, like a drone or your gadget or a flashbang or something through it in order to stop it. Or, you know, to tank the 40 damage and push through. So yeah, that's the new operator, basically. Um, when she comes out, I'm gonna try get some uh, footage for her, you know, for future videos, but... I don't know. Unfo like I said, unfortunately I couldn't get any because I play on console and there is no test server on console. So that's rather unfortunate, but hey, what can you do about it, you know? A lot of operators are also getting changed uh, this season. You know, you've also got the new Skyscraper rework, which is... From the looks of it, it looks quite big. Like, it looks like Skyscraper, but enlarged. With, like, the whole balcony in the west side, I believe, is gone. So, no more runouts, which is... I don't really see anyone complaining about runouts, but, I mean, they can be annoying at times where you don't expect them. So, I mean... Okay, fair enough. I'm not really complaining about it. Skyscraper was never really a good map in my eyes, so... It doesn't bother me as such they're removing the balcony but you know there's some people that might and if that skyscraper is your favorite map I can see why it would bother you but it's not mine so it doesn't bother me if that makes sense so yeah that's the whole map um, rework thing I guess they're not really bringing out new maps at all they're just kind of reworking old ones so they fit in with all the new operators coming in you, you know we've had it for a while now We've had, uh, you know, cafes being reworked, theme park being reworked, houses being reworked, and the skyscrapers being reworked. And yet they still have that pish map tower, right? Tower's still part of this game, and that map is god awful. How that's still part of the map game, uh, like game map rotation? Fuck if I know. But here we are. Ubisoft has their priorities backwards. Also, I don't understand, right? They're like taking. When they come back to the operator thing I said like earlier, they. So basically, they've uh, nerfed Echo, right? So now his uh, yokais are not vis not invisible and they're louder, I believe. This is a problem because, well, in a competitive environment, uh, Echo is basically always banned. He's one of the highest banned up there with Jackal. So, I mean, it's a bit pointless to be honest getting rid of it plus if you're so scared about an echo just bring an iq it's, it's not or or have your game audio up and listen for the drone because even invisible it makes a noise you know what i mean so yeah um i don't know why they did that but hey i guess we'll have to see how it goes the next one is wamai uh he's losing one of his discs and he is also losing his shield in return for, is it impacts? Or is it barbed wire? I don't know. Anyway, he's losing one of his discs, which is kind of unfortunate because, you know, his shield was like the main part of him. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this, uh, to be honest, because Wamai was never, well, Wamai was designed with the intent of being like a Jaeger, kind of, he was meant to go with Jaeger and like no projectiles were coming through. But Jaeger was always the stronger pick, and he still is. But Jaeger's also been changed in this one, where now, his ADSs, they have unlimited kind of charges, but once they take one 
kind of uh, projectile out, it, they then have to wait another 10 seconds to do it again. So, you know, if they're in good spots, it's not too much of a problem, but if they're all spread out over like two sites, like on bomb, then you might have a problem, especially if someone like Fuse is going to be around. Next up, Ash is losing her flashbangs and picking up a breach charge, I believe. Or is it Claymore? Claymore, that's it. So yeah, Ash is losing her flashbangs and picking up a Claymore, which I'm not a fan of. I've never seen Ash as someone who needs to, you know, need a Claymore. It just doesn't sit right. I mean, it could work, don't get me wrong. But if I'm being honest, Claymores aren't used that often. At least not in my games, and it could be different than like for others, but for all the attacking gadgets, I would say the least, the one I've seen least is probably going to be Claymores. So, you know, Twitch also lost her Claymore and is picking up a flashbang, so you know, they kind of did a swap there. So, do with that what you will. So yeah, those are... I think those are some, it still amazes me how like someone like Malusi, who is like really, really strong, or Ace for that matter, Ace and Malusi, who are both really strong picks, aren't nerfed, but they nerfed Echo, who is, you know, banned, like, basically every two games, I want to say, maybe even every game, so, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit pointless. Maybe, oh, actually, maybe the Echo now so it'll get played more and not banned. I don't know. I don't work at Ubisoft. Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. It's a short one, but I just wanted to go over what we know already. Yeah. Peace.